I can't believe it. That recording proves it's all true. Mengsk, Tarsonis, all of it. What will you do now? Tell the people. Every man, woman, and child in the Dominion needs to know what their beloved Emperor is capable of. The backlash will be awful. There'll be riots and uprisings everywhere. But that's just what you want, isn't it? It's a start. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes. I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Mengsk? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Minx be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line, by using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart-ass swan. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir. There's a Protoss fleet holding an orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface. 
And it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base aerial. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. news transfer I've located the Protoss nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields we'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time we should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. SCB ready. minerals. Add-on complete. SCV ready. Sir, the purifier has arrived and is on the move. Go ahead. 
SCV ready. Gotcha. Purifiers coming into range of a colony base. SCV ready. In the rear with the gear. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Our ship. We're all going to die. I like it. Fight or flight. Yeah. Raiders. We're getting out of here. Go, go, go! The 
colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the purifier's path. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Yes, indeed. Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. You ready for ready to plunder? Let's get into the fight. Yes, indeed. Information systems primed. Bold. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going. Armed and ready. By the numbers, boys. Armed and ready. You rang? Gangway, coming through. In the rear with the gear. Huh? It's your dime. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. Let's get into the fight. Ready to plunder. Squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Very well.
a close one. Thanks. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. Ready to blunder. Yes, indeed. Certainly. this down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Very well. Inbound. Made for battle. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Made for battle. They've almost reached the next base. Hurry! Fight or flight? Yeah, right. What's going on? You ready for war? Comlink online. Navcom locked. Upgrade complete. Transformation systems prime. any second now get clear another nexus gone great work don't give them a chance to regroup ready to plunder
Inbound. Warning. Protoss squadron detected approaching the final colonist settlement. Certainly. Our allies are being attacked. Made for battle. Agreed. Thank you! Those Protoss almost got us! Excellent work. The colonists in that settlement have been evacuated. Upgrade complete. Purifier shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Need some triage? You ready for war? Agreed. Transformation systems primed. Estimate Protoss arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Yes, indeed. Purifier has sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The effect should only be temporary, though. Let's get into the fight. Cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated. This is goodbye, Doc. Now you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know... You could always stay here. 
settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we begun. You're a good man, Jim Raider. 